Hey up everybody, um, I'm just on a bit of an add on really to my e bike videos um, that I finished off last time in my last video, I think. Uh, in that last video, I were, I, were more, I were all completed except I hadn't put the um, cut off switches on the brakes. It's a safety aspect of any e bike. And what that does, if you put your brakes on, no matter if you've got the throttle on or if you're pedalling, um, as long as you pull the brake, the power's cut to the motor. So I'm going to, now I've got my me, um, me reed switches are, been delivered, I can, uh, I can crack on them and make, make them. Now, I will go into a bit of a, a, I'll go into quite a lot of detail for anybody that's new to this sort of thing. So I'll bring camera over to bike and I'll explain what I'm going to do and then I'll go to workbench and show you what I'm going to do. Right then, so basically here's my brake levers with the integral gear system on which I didn't want to have to change. You can buy um, ready made up brake levers with a micro switch that's already built into into this casting inside with a wire coming off that you just plug in so that is that's one way you can do it but because I didn't want to have to change these integral gear shifters I'm going to stick a a reed switch underneath with a magnet on uh, you can buy reed switches that's pre-wired I think they're a bit more expensive than doing it my way I'll be making my own up. So when I built this e-bike, you can see that in parts one to five, I pre-wired this um, these two wires in from the controller, and all I've got to do then is uh, plug these two wires in that go to me brakes. Because these reed switches are, are quite small, I didn't realise they were this small actually. I've not got much surface area and protection to stick them at the bottom of my brakes. So what I'm going to do, my plan is, I've got these electrical connecting blocks, they come in a long strip. So you just cut them off to however many you want to do to do this, the job that you're doing. So I've cut them off into ones. I want two of these. Um, I've took the screws out and I've took the brass middle out. Then I've linished them on my belt sander just to make a square block. So that square block's now got a hole in it. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to solder some wires onto my reed switches. I'm going to push the reed switches into the plastic block. And then I'll just put a little bit of um, adhesive at each end just to seal it in. For anybody that don't, uh, that, that's never seen these type of switches working, um, all it is, it's a, it's a, in there there's an, either a normally closed or a normally open uh, switch. So these are normally uh, closed. So if I put my um, multimeter on it, on continuity, when I connect this up, to each end of this reed switch it'll buzz so that is actually a, cir a circuit now so they're normally closed and then when the magnet comes up to it I've got a magnet in my tweezers here so as my magnet comes up to that that's opening the switch and turning it off so when the brakes are in the close, close position, um, the cutout is not working. And as soon as you open the brakes, as soon as you pull the lever, it brings the magnet away 
and closes the contacts and in turn that tells the controller to shut the motor off. So when I've got this encapsulated, this switch, into this plastic block that's giving me something with a bigger surface area to stick onto me casting of my brakes on, over on my bike. Then I've got to just devise a method of coming off my lever to attach one of these magnets. I've not, I've not thought about that yet. I've bent one of the legs over carefully. You must be careful when you're bending it because they're, very, they're quite delicate. I've just sanded it slightly to take that coating off so it solders OK. Soldered two wires on and I've just put a little bit of heat shrink tubing just to cover the soldered joints up. And now that can push into that block like that just so it's coming flush with the end Um, I'm going to now solder my two wires on on both sides and then I'll just mix a bit of um, two pack adhesive and just put a little blob at each end just to seal the reed switch into that and then that will fit underneath my brake casting. Okay then I'll do the same with this side now and then we'll reconvene and have a look how I'm going to attach the magnet to the the brake lever. Okay then, uh, 
That's it, job completed. Uh, everything works okay. They're both cutting off fine. Um, jobs are good. So, uh, if you found that useful and uh, informative and interesting, give me a thumbs up and a subscribe. I'd appreciate that. Uh, and I'll catch you on my next video. So, thanks for watching then. Bye for now.